Hey guys, I am back with another video and happy Sunday. So, yeah, the new Joker movie is not doing so good. Now, yes, everybody's seen it early before the release date. Now, is that playing in theaters right now? They went to like this event where. Uh, I think the cast watched the movie, so did a little bit of the fans. Well, the movie scored a 60 on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, to be honest, I don't even know the reviews are in early. Early, I mean. I thought they wouldn't be, like, reviewed till like, the week of the movie will be released in theaters. But, don't get me wrong, I watched a little bit of the first Joker movie. The movie hit a 69 on Rotten Tomatoes on opening night. Well, let's not forget they had to shut, da shut down, like close the doors that time in Calif at a movie theater in California because of the... Uh, same reason that happened over there on the Dark Knight Rising's uh, opening night when the movie released in theaters that time. But I think they're going to do the same thing with the second Joker movie once it's released on October 4th. Um, but yes, the movie will be 2 hours 18 minutes. The first movie was 2 hours 5 minutes. Minutes and yes, it's made by the same director Todd Phillips, who is known to direct the Hangover movie, Super and uh, Zach Galifianakis. You know the the actor from Between Toon Toon Ferns, uh, which to be honest, uh, Zach Galifianakis. Kiss is doing other things like uh being on the new season of that new of uh, that Hulu show called um what's it called? It it has see I can't uh murder only murderers in the building. Like it stars Steve Martin and Selena Gomez. But besides the point, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I'm just saying the joke the new Joker movie with uh with Harley Quinn in it is not doing too good. So what's your thoughts about the movie scored a 60 on Rotten Tomatoes? And I'm sorry I did not mean to tiny burp. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe.